Welcome, world, to another episode of Nobody's a Nobody podcast with me, Mike McVeigh. This is the podcast where I interview people I find absolutely fascinating, and I believe you will too if you give them a chance. Now, this is a mini-sode, which means that it's not an interview, but it's usually a time where I collect thoughts or I interview or I have people give little segments on different areas of their society. But right now, we're having Wednesdays uh, being dedicated to those who, in Oklahoma who have died uh, due to COVID-19. And unfortunately, we have another 233 people. Uh, that's, if we give one more second to each person, that's 300, uh, excuse me, that's uh, 3 minutes and 53 seconds. And that's just insane. Um, beds in Oklahoma are scarce. Um, as some of you know, my dad and mom got infected with covid and um, my mom fortunately has tested negative now, but my dad is still in the hospital and he's having oxygen. And while he's in the hospital, he's fine. But when he's uh, when he goes to the restroom or he um, does something small, it's wearing him out like he's been uh, working for 16 hours. He's just completely exhausted. Um and he's been fortunate enough to get a bed. Uh, Oklahoma's really scarce right now. In fact, a lot of the United States is. But we want to honor those who um, who are suffering with this. I think the biggest part is that this is, could have been easily preventable, um, according to everything I've been reading. Um, we need to make sure we keep on wearing masks to wash our hands and disinfect the things we come in contact with and to responsibly distance each from each other. Now, um, I thank you for all the prayers and thoughts and vibes that you have sent my way and my family's way. Um, it's appreciated. Um, it has devastating contact, has devastating consequences, uh, from the choices we make, but, um, keep those who are experiencing COVID, even if it's mild or no symptoms, uh, because it can still wreak a havoc on those they come in contact with. But here's two minute, or 233 seconds or three minutes and 53 seconds of silence in memory of those who have died in Oklahoma because of COVID. Until next time.